interactions in Adobe Captivate 8 is an accelerometer based game. So let me show you how you can create it and have fun with it. Open Captivate, go to interactions and go to learning interactions. Here select this game which is catch alpha nouns and click insert. It will ask you whether you want a question with words or you want a question with numbers. So if your question has some words and numbers, go ahead and choose uh, add questions with words. And if you have some numerical expression that you want your uh, students to respond to, go ahead and check uh, questions with numbers. I will go with add questions with words and that gives me this interface where I have to fill out this form and tell them what is the question and what is the answer. So let me just ask the question, what is the latest version of Captivate? Of course it's 8, so I will type 8 here and here by default it gives the character set of A to Z but you can easily go and include numbers as well. Just add comma separated values here and those will be the character set that you get when you play the game. Uh, you can assign some score to it, you can have lifelines, the lifelines can be anywhere between 0 to 5 and here this is the place where uh, you hide the characters. So there will be word written there which is 8 and one of the characters will be hidden. If you want to just hide one, you can go with that or you can go with hiding all of them. Let's go and hide all the alphabets. So I will just type 5 here and that will keep all 5 characters blank. You can also have big um, words like encyclopedia or anything else and you can just decide to hide say 5 characters or 8 characters. It really depends on how you want to create your interaction. With that done, you can, you can also have multiple questions here. But let's go with just one and then I leave it up to you to explore it. So let's go ahead and customize this interaction. So I'll go to customize and here you can see an instruction screen. You can in customize each and every element in this particular interaction. Just go and click edit. And you will be able to modify the text uh, you'll be able to modify the color so just go ahead and choose the color that you want you can go and modify the text you can modify the color of the text so just go ahead and choose whatever you want and you can change the color for the background you can change the color for uh, for the text you can go and replace the text from here Let's go to the game screen and you can see that this is how the game interface will look like but you can go ahead and make changes to whatever you want. So if you want the color to be blue, go ahead and select blue. You can associate this with a variable name so whatever score the learners get that will be stored in this variable and then you can call this value from anywhere in Captivate uh, course. You can change the color for the top banner, you can do whatever you want and then you can change the color for the lifeline as well and there are two types of lifelines, one is a heart shape and one is the human shape. So you can choose whatever you want, you can set the color for score, you can choose the shapes in which uh, these uh, alphabets or numbers should appear. So go ahead and choose whatever shape you like. Uh, I'll go with the rectangle or I'll go with the triangle and then you can change the colors for this. So everything you see here is customizable. You can go to the end screen as well and you can change the text and the color of the text. Once this is done just click OK and this game will be created for you. So I'll go to preview and say preview in browser. Okay, so we have the game here and I click play now. It gives me the question and now I can move the cart using the arrow keys and I can increase or decrease the speed of the cart uh, by, um, you know, pressing the space bar. You can see that if I uh, take uh, the, the wrong uh, alphabet, uh, one of my life is gone. Now you can see I have taken G. If I take D, it will be gone further and I need E and H. So I'll go for E. And you can see that I have completed this and when I click it, it uh, gives me the score. But how is this accelerometer enabled? For that, we should see it in a tablet. Here's my iPad screen so you can see what I do and you can see how I tilt and turn my iPad. So the game starts, I'm uh, tapping on play now and now I'm ready to rock and roll. So you can see that I'm tilting and turning uh, the iPad and I'm carefully 
let me just take a wrong one and you can see one life goes away and I will just wait for these to go and then I quickly move to that side okay and here's I that's what I need I have to be very careful with how I move the iPad and then go and collect edge this is fun <laughs> okay so aha, here goes E and here's my G oops I missed it. Okay, here's D. And I just need a T now. Where is my T? Here is my T. So, okay. So here it says your answer is correct. And click to continue. And it says, well done, you scored 10. So go ahead and use this interaction to add some fun to your mobile-based courses. Thanks for watching this video.